Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. If you are new, welcome. I'm a full-time working mom. I have two kids and in these types of videos, I just like to take you with me along on my day to share with you my normal routine. So today I'm going to be uh, packing kids lunches. I'm going to be working. After work, I'm going to show you some progress that we've made on finishing our basement. I'm also going to cook dinner and then I'm going to update you on my 2021 planner situation. So come along with me. So like with any morning, my priority starts out with making coffee. I decided to make a pot of coffee this morning since Adam and I were both going to be home and drinking it. Next, I pack the kids lunches and fill up their water bottles. I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee and then it is time to let Murphy out. He is our five-year-old yellow lab. As soon as he gets back inside, he knows it's time to eat. And I want to thank Solid Gold Pet for sponsoring today's day in the life video. You guys know that I worked with them last year and I'm excited to be working with them again in 2021. Right now, Murphy is eating a combination of the Leaping Waters dry food as well as the beef gluten-free canned food. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of the dry food into his bowl and top it with the wet. If you guys aren't familiar with Solid Gold, they are the first holistic pet company that was founded in America in 1974. And what I think is cool about them is that they are also a female-founded company, which is really awesome. But they make really high-quality pet foods and Murphy has been eating them for several several months now. I really love their pet food and they've been helping him keep his coat shiny and lose those last five pounds that the vet wanted him to. Solid Gold has a bunch of different options for pet food, whether you have a dog or a cat. They have wet food, dry food, supplements, and they also have bone broth, which can be a great way to encourage your pet to eat dry food. If you guys want to try out Solid Gold, you can save 30% on select products by going to solidgoldpet.com slash Jen. You will be able to save 30% on select items. Remember, that's solidgoldpet.com slash Jen to save 30% on select solid gold products. I know that you guys will enjoy them. So please check out that link in the description box below. Okay, so I thought I would check in with you guys. It's about one o'clock and I'm eating my lunch. I'm just having some leftovers. So last night I made these burgers for Adam and I and we're just having leftovers for lunch today with some slaw and then some leftover caprese salad that I had. So I'm gonna eat this. I have like four straight hours of meetings that I have to be on so it's gonna be fun <laughs> fun times so I'm gonna eat this and then while I'm on my lunch I'm going to order um, I'm ordering blinds for my office because I haven't done that yet and we've lived here for three years now so I guess it's time <laughs> so I bite the bullet and do that um, so I already have everything like picked out and everything. I did that this weekend. I just have to check out. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll check back in with you after I get done with work. All right, so it's about 5 p.m. and I'm done working for the day. Here's the deal. So I, you know, we're working on our basement. Actually, I can go down and show you guys in a little bit what all we've done. But I ordered curtains for down there and I ordered them from Kohl's because I feel like a lot of times they have good sales and you get like Kohl's cash and stuff. But I think they had it, they must have had it labeled wrong on the site because it had, for these um, curtains, it had like quantity one. And so I ordered two because I'm like, well, I need two panels, one for each side. And now they came with two in a, pa wait. Yeah, with two in a package. What the heck? What is it, 80 by 80 by 108? It's not 80. I don't know what's going on. 80 by 63. I don't know. I don't know what I did. If I ordered them wrong, I guess I'll have to send some back. I don't know what's going on. I'll take you downstairs. All right, so I told you guys in a weekend prep video that a couple weekends ago, we spent basically three days, not three whole days, but like over the duration of three days, we um, filled the holes in the trim, uh, sanded it, and painted it all. 
So now all of the trim is done except for this window, which Adam still needs to trim out. And then this ledge, which his dad came over and helped him run it through the router. So now he needs to stain that and attach it, trim out the window, and then basically we're done. And then this is the table. Um, I got it to be like a coffee table, but I also got it so Adam could put his Mario Legos on there and kind of like spread them all out. I don't know. I got this, got Murphy. <laughs> I think Murphy wants to eat. Um, I got this from Target so I could link it down below. It came with matching, or I ordered matching end tables with it, but they're not here yet. So the plan is to have, we already had all this set up when we built the house like years ago and it's like just now coming to fruition like three years later, so go figure. But um, there's a like a hookup for a projector there and then that is the screen that the TV or projector or whatever will be on. And then I think we're gonna get a love seat for over here and a reclining couch for here and there'll be a coffee table, a couple end tables. Adam's office is in there. And here is the bathroom, which is really nothing fancy. In fact, you can see we have a sawhorse in the shower. Adam hung up that puzzle in here. This is his mom put this puzzle together for him. It's just like a bunch of beer bottles, kind of cool. So yeah, it's coming together. Oh, the other thing we have to do is get like closet wire racks or I don't even know what you really call them, stuff for the closet. So yeah, Adam is super excited. So yeah, so for the curtains I ordered um, basically a rod for the sliding door and the window. And then I ordered, what I thought I ordered was four panels for the sliding door and two panels for the window, but maybe I ordered more than I needed. I don't know, I guess if I did I can put them back. But, and then the bar, we have the, I guess you call it a wet bar or whatever over here. Um, this was all installed by, who did that? I don't remember who installed it. Did we do that ourselves? I think, yeah, I think we did do it ourselves. We ordered the cabinets, um, the sizes that we needed, and then Adam installed those. I helped him install the one up here. We had someone come in and do the quartz for us, like, measured and cut it and installed that in the sink. Um, but then this was a, f a refrigerator that we had purchased separately to fit exactly under here. So yeah, but anyway, it's exciting. And then Adam is a collector of whiskey. So he has all of his whiskeys in there and I got him that for Christmas just cause I thought it was funny. I put it in the stocking. So Yes, he's very excited to be able to come down here and watch football and not be with the rest of us, I guess, right? <laughs> Hashtag man cave. All right, so I guess I'm gonna feed Murphy, but the kids have swim practice tonight, so Adam's gonna take Connor, and then I'm gonna pick Connor up, take Kira, and then Adam's gonna pick Kira up. We're gonna switch off, but I really need to get this kitchen cleaned up. It is a total mess right now. All right, Murphy's gonna eat his supper. He eats two times a day. He doesn't He doesn't usually eat all the dry food in the bottom of there. Yeah, so according to Murphy's size in his bed and the amount of calories that he needs every day, I'm giving him dry food in the bottom of his bowl, like you guys saw me do that this morning, and then he eats it like throughout the day. So he gets the dry food, and then he gets two cans of this, one in the morning and one in the evening, and he knows when his uh, solid gold pet food <laughs> is due because he is like on me, like at all times until I feed him, but yeah. So I don't know about you guys, but I can never start cooking dinner in a messy kitchen. So I had to unload the dishwasher and then I had a bunch of dishes to reload it with. So I definitely wanted to get that done before I started cooking dinner. Uh, Adam usually takes one child to swim and then I pick that child up and then I take the other one and then he picks that one up. So we kind of have a process going on so that I can still <laughs> cook dinner. So I am going to make a, uh, 
uh, lower carb dinner tonight. This is like a cauliflower rice paella type dish, um, although it's not really authentic because it doesn't have seafood in it. It has just sausage, but I have some Italian sausage here and I just have that on a sheet pan with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. And this is a great way to cook sausage in the casing. It is less messy than doing it on the stove top. So I'm gonna roast those. Usually I roast them at 400 for about 15 to 20 minutes until they're cooked through. Next, I'm gonna cut up a couple of yellow bell peppers and these will go into the um, saute pan along with some cauliflower rice. And this is sort of gonna have a little bit of a spiced sort of tomato sauce with it. Uh, it was really good, Adam really liked it and so did I. And I did not film this part, but I also made some um, cauliflower, not some cauliflower, I'm I got cauliflower on the brain, <laughs> some jalapeno poppers. So I'll show you those um, when it's finished. But I had two bags of cauliflower rice, put those in a nonstick pan along with the bell pepper. And then I drizzled in some olive oil and I'm putting in about four cloves of garlic and then some roasted red pepper. This was left over from uh, a meal kit box that I got earlier in the week. So I'm going to give that a good stir. And I just sauteed this over medium heat until everything was tender. And then this part is optional, but it did call for some green olives chopped up on top of it. I personally only like black olives, but Adam likes green olives. So I went ahead and chopped those up for him. He actually used all of them on his portion and he said that it really added a lot um, to the dish. So that was good. So when the cauliflower rice was cooked up I went ahead and poured in a little bit of water and then that spiced tomato broth and then I'm just gonna give that a stir I didn't have this part on camera but I did also add some cream cheese just a couple tablespoons and then I did slice up the sausage and put that in the pan and here is what it looked like when it's done actually this is after Adam took his <laughs> portion out it is not super pretty on the plate it would be prettier if I put some parsley in it but I had it with some jalapeno poppers. Hey guys, so it is currently just before 10 p.m. and I just got out of the shower. So I think, I feel like I'm heading to bed a little bit earlier tonight, which is good. I feel like if I had my choice of uh, sleeping hours, I would sleep from 10 to five. I'm not really a night owl. I'd rather go to bed early <laughs> and get up early. And I do need to get up a little bit earlier tomorrow to finish editing a few pages of um, the cookbook that I'm writing, uh, the, the heavy lifting part is done. Most of that was done during the month of, um, November and the first part of December. So that part is behind me, but I like, I've never written a cookbook before. And so there are like so many rounds of edits and, uh, this is like the second round that I've gone through, I think. And so I have like a chance to provide any edits or comments or changes and then it goes back to them and then I get it back like in February. I don't, I don't know. They're guiding me through the whole thing because I've never done this. <laughs> I've never done this before. But anyway, I've been getting some questions about like, when will it be available? How can people buy it? Uh, so it will be available on Amazon for sure. Um, I don't know yet if it will be available in stores. It sounded like maybe it would, but that's all up to the marketing department and I haven't even spoken or met with them yet. So the best thing for you to do is probably just to sign up for my email list. I'll leave a link for that in the description box below. That way, if you're on my list, then as the date gets closer, I can send information out. I know that it's supposed to be um, for sale sometime in April or May, and I've gotten questions also if it will be available for international shipping. I don't know the answer to that. I assume it will be because it will be available on Amazon, but I don't know. Those are all questions that I have to, <laughs> I have to find out. So I need to get up early tomorrow and finish that. I just have like four pages to look through and send it back. So I'll do that. Um, yeah, I am looking forward to having a weekend of kind of doing nothing, not really, not doing nothing because I'll still be doing stuff around the house, but like not having any plans or anything like that. I really need to get all of my Christmas decor taken down, so I want to take care of that this weekend. And I also want to work ahead on some videos that I have coming up. Like, I don't know, I've just felt like the last couple weeks that I've been like on a treadmill and I can't like 
<laughs> I can just like never catch up. Um, but you know, it's a busy time right now just because, you know, the kids are in swim. They, they swim every single night and then most weekends. Um, we're at a swim meet all day, <laughs> so it's it's a busy time. But you know, I I want them to be involved in stuff like that. I never got the chance to be involved in sports like team sports when I was a kid, um, and so I think it's you know it's good for them. It's good physical activity, and it's good for them to be part of a team and you know learn all of those skills. And Connor is actually in soccer now. They had canceled it for a while due to COVID. Um, but they're having it now on Friday nights, so he gets excited for that too. He really loves soccer. I think he actually probably likes soccer more than he likes swim. Um, but yeah, he gets excited for that too. And they don't they don't allow spectators or anything, so we don't even get to watch <laughs> we don't even get to watch him play anymore because it's it's indoors. Um, when he did fall soccer, it was outside, so we could sit outside and watch, but. So yeah, the only other thing I was gonna share with you guys is I did get some questions about what planners I'm using and I do want to do a dedicated video on that. I just haven't had a chance to do it yet. Maybe this weekend, this is actually a three day weekend so maybe I can get some of that done then but I'll show you um, what I'm using and give links if you're interested. So this planner is from Amazon. It's actually a, I think it's a Simple Stories Carpe Diem planner. It's an A5 size and it's got gold rings. You can just get these on Amazon. They're not that pricey because they're not real leather, but they will kind of fall apart a little bit faster than real leather will, obviously. Um, and then my inserts in here are from Cloth and Paper. Um, so I'll link their site down below also. I really love their stuff. And then I have some of their daily um, inserts in here too. So I'll link this particular planner. I also like it because it has gold rings. Um, so this is the planner that I'm using for like personal and home stuff. And then I put some of my like YouTube deadlines in here too, um, specifically for um, YouTube because you guys know I like plan out I try to plan out my videos every month and everything um, I was going to use the content planner, but it is late like I guess there were some shipping delays due to COVID and I Don't know what all else and so I didn't cancel my order. I'm still waiting for that but in the interim I am using this um, spiral planner from cloth and paper they actually have a subscription box and this was in one of their subscription boxes which I subscribe to but it has um, all 12 months and it just has a, a calendar for each month like that and so that's what I use to kind of plan out my videos for the month and then every week it has you know uh, a spread of the days so those are like what I use to like plan out my videos and like organize my tasks to do each week. And then I'm trying this out right now and so far it seems to be working okay. But for my work planner, I have a, this is actually a leather planner from Cloth and & Paper and they are pricey, but I treated myself because <laughs> I wanted it and it's so like, beautiful and it has black rings on the inside I just love it so I got this from them um, and then I'm just using like these weekly spreads like this because I find that it helps me especially for work if I can have the you know hours down like that then I can write my meetings and stuff so anyway I'll do a more dedicated video on that but I just thought I would share that with you so i that that's what all i'm using i'll link all those places down below i'm not sponsored by any of, of them or anything like that um and then i did order some really cute stickers i don't these are from the planner spot i've never heard of them before and i don't remember who i was watching on youtube but aren't those stickers pretty they're so pretty i am not a big fan of I don't know like I've tried the like very like colorful you know Erin Condren 
aesthetic with all like the bright colors of stickers and stuff and that's just not like I just find that it's not really me I like more like the black and white neutral colors so anyway that's what I've been using but um yeah now that I've blabbed your ear off I think I'm gonna go get ready for bed but thanks you guys for coming along with me today this was a normal day in in my life um sometimes I find it interesting you know especially with the working from home thing because it's like when you go to work if you have like a stressful day it's like okay when you leave you can like physically leave and come home and there's like a separation there but when you work at home it's like you're in your office all the time. <laughs> so I don't know, it's just, it's it's uh, interesting to get used to, but yeah, it's, it's interesting times for sure. So I'm gonna let you guys go and uh, don't forget to check out Solid Gold Pet Food. I will have all of the information down below. You can get 30% off on select items. So check out that link and I'll see you in my next video, bye.